Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. I'm the Emperor of the Universe. It's an interesting little nutshell. Oh, I love you. And I'm glad you're here. And I want to share some stuff. And I know. Anyway, that's good, right? Okay. Uh, let's talk about romance, baby, in the digital age. Instalade. That should be like the instead of Instagram, Instalade, where you can ha you can log on, take pictures of your junk, and send it to other people, and they get to take pictures of the cooch, and they can send them back. And you can go, oh, do we do we qualify? Do we like each other? And they can even do matches, cooch and penis matches. I mean, just... <clears throat> my apologies. I'm being ridiculous. And there's probably a good reason for it because I don't, if romance isn't dead, it's, it's hiding somewhere in the woods going, Psh, I, don't, I don't want nothing to do with that, right? I mean, how is romance even possible when most of the men are actually women now? man bun <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> sorry I'd be blessed to have that much hair right but at the same time <sighs> gentlemen it's just a ponytail do deal with it ponytails are they are acceptable the man bun thing I don't know I'm just not feeling it but that's all right nothing wrong with that I just think that you know at some point women are gonna want that you know, that Neanderthal again, that guy that's just going to throw him over the shoulder and drag him off to the cave and just made mad, passionate, savage love to him in the best way possible. I've actually had women say that they wish they had, I had done that. Of course, after the fact, when it's not even an issue anymore as far as, like, availability or whatever. But it's like, oh, great. Tell me that now, right? Instead of, like, when I could have thrown your arm over my shoulder actually am able to that's another thing guys uh, my poor millennial men if you're gonna go bestiality want to be like all manly men and take like hunting trips and you know I don't know take a class of you know learning how to be a mountain man and chop wood and stuff I don't know just so you can toughen up and you know be able to Sling your woman over your shoulder and make mad, passionate love to her while you're moving the furniture around. Just think of that scene in Mr. and Mrs. Smith when they're trying to kill each other and they give up on killing each other and they end up... Yeah, you know what I mean. Kind of like that. The after the shooting part. When they actually start getting physical. In a good way. That's kind of what it should be like. Without all the bullet holes. But yeah, that's what you want. You want passion in. Uh, you want you can't you can't fake it. I mean, you can fake it till you make it with a lot of things, work, careers, you know, family members. To you know, you can till everybody bonds and gets right <laughs> with the world or whatever. But yeah, you can't fake love, man. It's either real or it isn't. So passion, you can try to fake it. I don't know. But no, no, thank you. I'm gonna keep it real. So anyway. I love you, God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you, so I don't know how we're going to fix this whole romance thing. But I think if we just put down our phones and go out into the community and walk around and say hi to people, I don't know. Or if you have phones and you have digital crushes somewhere, let them know how you feel. I think there should be like a digital crush, Ollie Ollie Oxen free day, where you can think about somebody you really you're crushing on, soft crush, for the most part. Just send them a message saying, you know, you're my soft crush. Don't be, you know, just one person. Don't be sending everybody soft crush because that kind of, you know, just kind of takes all the potency out of it. You know, it takes all the, the meaning, the speciality of getting one from somebody. Like, you know, say if I got one from Scarlett Johansson or that one lady. I can't think of her name that plays um, <clears throat> Ryan Reynolds' love interest in Deadpool. Oh, my God. Uh, Baraka Baron or something. Oh my gosh, she's a goddess, absolute fucking goddess. Yes, I would say yes to anything she has to say. That's all I gotta say about that woman. But you know what I mean. I, see, I, she's so hot. I just forgot what I was gonna talk about. Shit. Anyway, Firefly. She's in that too. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna get that out. Firefly. Awesome. Josh Whedon, you're a genius. Anyway, I'm gonna let you go. Have a wonderful day. Good luck in finding love and being in love and getting hugs and kisses and man, I can't wait for that shit. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. Anyway, I love you. Have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.